Welcome back to the KB Music Den. I'm Brad. And I'm Keith. <laughs> we have decided we are going to do a build your own 90s legend rock band. Yes. Build a band. You've heard of Build a Bear. <laughs> this, this is Build, build a Band. A band. <laughs> so we decided we're going to take one drummer, one bass player, a rhythm guitarist, lead guitarist, and an all important vocalist. <laughs> yes. And we're going to see who builds the best band from the 90s. Yeah, weigh in in the comments. Uh, yep. Build your own band, too. But let us know uh, who you think is, is the band that you would yes. like to listen to more. Exactly. Um, so and I do want to give a quick shout out to the guys that taste like music. Uh, they were formerly called Listography. Um, but Jason, Joe, and Kramzer uh, over at Tastes Like Music. You guys have been a big inspiration for us to even start the channel. Um, I know you did something similar to this a while back, so I wanted to give credit where credit's due. Um, I'm sure you guys would also admit you're probably not the first one that ever did something <laughs> like this on YouTube or a blog or whatever. Um, but I do remember enjoying that, and it may have been in the back of my mind when we thought of this, so I do want to give credit where credit's due. So anyone that's subscribed to us probably knows these guys because they've got over like 10,000 subscribers. Yeah. I think they're closing in on 11. Um, deservedly so they're fantastic so uh, check out tastes like music if you're not familiar but let's get to it um all right let's start it here so we're going to start with the drummers okay you want me to start we're going to start with keith's drummer okay now this one is an interesting one because i thought about this band okay and things kind of fell into place pretty quickly for me <clears throat> but then i changed my drummer oh I might as well mention that my... So your band kicked the drummer out. Well, and this band, <laughs> this drummer that, oh, I was, that I was going to use, yeah. was kicked out of his band, well, then this is, ironically. This is perfect. So I was going to use Dave Abrazace from Pearl Jam. Okay. The original drummer didn't last long. Uh, he's just so fantastic on 10. But... Now, you are literally, I think, the only person that I know that when I say the name of this person, you might know which band he's from. Might know, okay. You might know, okay? But my drummer for my 90s dream band, Build a Band, is Jeremy Taggart. That name sounds really familiar. Why does it sound... Do you want to know why it sounds familiar? What? Yeah, who is it? Our Lady Peace. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. The drummer from the band Our Lady Peace. Uh, you probably know the song Superman's Dead. Yep. You should know the album Spiritual Machines. The original, yeah. not, the, not the new sequel. Oh. We're not even going to go into that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the original Spiritual Machines. Mm -hmm. uh, he's just a fantastic creative drummer. Yep. Just lays it down. And when you see who else is in my band, I just think him being the foundation, well, along with the bass player that we'll get to in my band, I just think it's going to be really really solid so the underappreciated jeremy taggart the drummer of the band our lady peace is my dream drummer that's a cool pick that's a cool thank you. we're both big fans of our lady peace yes so absolutely yeah. that's a cool pick thank you so for mine i wanted to go to a drummer who i thought was one of the uh, cornerstones of one of the greatest albums of the 90s um he was the inspiration for my son to play drums i know who it is yeah he knows who yeah. it is jimmy chamberlain smashing pumpkins from smashing pumpkins yep He's diverse. He's got the jazz background. He could play smoking ass rock. Yeah. I mean, this guy could do it all. He had his own Jimmy Chamberlain project. I mean, yeah. I think he could, you know, you put him in there, you got a good backbone immediately for a for a good rhythm section. That's so fantastic. Yeah. I knew you were going to pick him. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I thought about him um, as being one of the best yeah. drummers of the 90s, but I, I knew you were going to pick him. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not going to pick the same guy. <laughs> so, uh, so we're on to the bass guitar. Bass player. Now, if those of you who don't know, I've been in different projects uh, since I was, you know, in my late teens, early 20s, mm -hmm. and I'm recording it now, uh, <laughs> and um, for most of my life, I've played bass, in the 90s, bass too. guitar, and yeah. So he could be the pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you want a dream band, <laughs> I'd be more of a nightmare with me. Yeah. Very but, <laughs> but for my bass guitarist, I'm going with... Also, I believe to be underappreciated in generally speaking. Okay. Patrick Dahlheimer from the band Live. Oh, okay. If you listen to his bass work, particularly on their very first album, Mental Jewelry, and if you focus your ears on picking out the mm -hmm. bass, holy shit. This guy can play the bass. Yeah. Like nobody's business. Um, so, and I think he would lock up real well with Jeremy Taggart. So my bass guitarist is 
Patrick Dahlheimer from the band Live. That's another great pick. So we Thank got you. Our Lady Peace and Live going over there. Yeah, rhythm section. So I'm also taking a bassist that I think is very underappreciated. Okay. I, I had a, I, I couldn't believe, I was looking up lists of, you know, 90s bands and where they rank certain, because I was curious if this person got, Yeah. I didn't see him getting a whole lot of attention, but I did then see he was on a lot of covers of bass magazines. And mm. so it seems like the people who know the instrument know yeah, the yeah, talent. Yeah, yeah, And that's Rob DeLeo. Um, oh, um, Stone Temple Pilots. You got it. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought Rob... Oh, that's a great <laughs> Yeah. I always love the sound of that, the way that, you know, his bass stood out to me in that band. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a great band. So I was always shocked when I looked back and said, man, why does Rob not get the credit... You're right about that. ...that he deserves? The DeLeo Brothers, yeah. Yeah, the DeLeo Brothers in general, but I always thought Rob was... He got underappreciated compared to Dean, so... Absolutely. Yeah. What a great pick. I'm going to throw Rob in there as my bass player. And that's interesting to, to think about him with Jimmy oh, as yeah. a rhythm section. I think it'd be very fan... You know, just the fact that different sounds you've heard on their different albums, I mean... Yeah. Well, yeah. that's a great pick. Yep. It's a great pick. All right, so we're getting to the into our guitarists, right? Rhythm... Okay, so remember, I've got Jeremy Taggart from Our Lady Peace on drums. I've got Patrick Dahlheimer from Live on bass. My rhythm guitarist, who can do so much more, including sing and harmonize oh. with my lead singer, who I'll reveal later. My rhythm guitarist is the incomparable Jerry Cantrell. As soon as you said Allison Allison I knew it. Yep, yeah, I, I knew it. it. I was like, oh, you got I Cantrell. Mean, That's a good pick. Come on. Like, yep. when you hear in a bit, who my singer is, That's gonna... and you can hear them um, harmonizing, you're going to be like, oh, I'm picking shit. Keith's band. Oh, shit. He might. That's He, he thought this through. Which, okay. by the way, we didn't mention what, what our only rule was for this build a band. You can't have two members no. of the same band in your band. Nope. So, uh, but yeah, Jerry Cantrell uh, can play rhythm and lead, of course. Uh, harmony, he can mm -hmm. sing lead vocal, of course, too. Um, so that's that's the versatility I was looking for in that in that rhythm spot. So Jerry Cantrell. Oh, good pick. I went a little more. Um, what I did with my pick is I decided I was going to pick somebody who's a great rhythm guitarist who works with a good lead, lead guitarist. So we already know he has the backbone to play that way. Okay. And not be a selfish guitarist. I'm going with Stone Gossard. Oh, from Pearl, Pearl Jam. Jam. That's a great pick. He's always working with uh, Mike. Yeah. McCready and. Uh, you know, I think Mike gets all the, the glory there, but Stone's a great guitarist. Oh, that's a fantastic And a fantastic pick. rhythm guitarist, and I think... And, like, mine can play yep. lead, too, obviously. Exactly. Yeah. So, and see, he sings a bit, yeah. 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 So, so there we go with Stone in my, my uh, guitar spot. Nice. I, I like both these bands. <laughs> um, oh, this may end up a tie. No. This may, we'll see. So, lead guitar. Mm. <sighs> okay. So... <laughs> I absolutely needed this gentleman to be in my 90s dream band so much that I had to give up the dream of having the singer of this man's band, oh, which would shit. have been fantastic. But even more so, I had to pick Johnny Greenwood <laughs> from Radiohead okay. on lead guitar. Talk about an innovator. I mean, just pull up yeah. some videos of him playing the guitar with Radiohead. Yep. He's pulling the string off the thing and getting a weird sound. He's like, and he doesn't just do, I mean, he does like stuff with the keyboards and like yeah. the effects and the, I mean, what an absolute mad scientist, yep. wizard, genius. Um, I can't say he's underrated because no. everybody knows how great yep. he is. Um, but I could not have a 90s dream band <laughs> without Johnny Greenwood at lead guitar. Yep. I just couldn't do it. So, which meant, and this was tough for me, I actually went back and forth. I kept trying to find a, another lead guitarist to fit the spot because I wanted Tom York so bad to be my singer. But I just, I had to, I had to have Johnny Greenwood. So there it is. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Where are you going? I'm also taking a Johnny, but I'm taking the best guitarist of the 90s with my lead. And that's John Frusciante. Oh! You can't beat John Frusciante. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, yeah. so to me, I figured let's pair Frusciante and his... Crazy guitar, you know, situations with Stone. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. DeLeo and, and Chamberlain, and we got a, we got ourselves some unique music going. What a band. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I, yeah, I can't think of, I, I was like, who's a better, so, like, if I had to pick, okay, you need a guitarist for this band from the 90s to play the lead. I mean, who's better than John Frusciante? I um, mean, that's. I would argue Johnny Greenwood, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's almost yeah. a tie. Yeah. yeah. And they're both Johns, like you said. Johnny's, yeah. So, 
Oh man, here it is. Yeah, we're down to the So singer. we've built these bands, folks, right? We've got the drums, the bass, mm -hmm. we've got the rhythm guitar with the lead guitar. And who is going to step up to the mic and front this band? Now, when we talked about this, we said, if your lead guitarist, excuse me, if your lead vocalist also <laughs> plays rhythm guitar or whatever, that's fine. That's fine. Then you'll have three guitars. Yep. More power to you. Um, I, my lead singer does play rhythm guitar. Uh, not all the time, but he definitely does. Um, Dave Matthews. <laughs> Could you imagine with all those like heavy rock? <laughs> um, I love Dave Matthews, by the way. Yeah, that's a whole different thing. So, <laughs> I, I chat. I'm almost wondering if we're both gonna have the same lead singer. It might, because I don't know of a better lead singer from the '90s. It's probably him then. Than Chris Cornell. Yeah, we got him. There it is. <laughs> we both got the same lead singer. Yep. No one sings as well as him, though. No. Gosh. No. no one sings like you anymore. Nope. Exactly. Cool song. Yeah. I mean, my, my reason for choice on that was we've heard him do Audio Slave, where he played with Tom Morello and, yeah. and the, you know, Rage Against Machine guys. And then you heard him do um, Soundgarden with yeah. Tim Peel and Matt Cameron and those guys. And then you hear him do his acoustic work, where oh. he has these solo albums that are absolute masterpieces. Yes. He can do it all. Gosh, so I thought yeah. if I'm going to throw together a, a bastardization of a 90s band, this guy will at least be able to pull it together. So Yeah, I was thinking maybe yep. you had Cornell too. Yep. I mean, and that's part of the reason too why I was trying to find a way to find a different guitar <laughs> so I could have Tom York. Yeah. Because I had a feeling we'd both have Cornell. <laughs> but that, you know, that just you makes something. sense. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, since we both have the same singer, you really got to look through the rest of the lineup and, and decide which is your favorite. Yep. Um, and also, you know, please build your own band. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are plenty of amazing singers from the 90s and you may lean more towards someone else um build one with tom york for me please <laughs> um but yeah you know you can't go wrong no. uh this may end up being a tie but please weigh in in the comments and put your build a band for the 90s in the comments as well most importantly um yeah man that's uh so let's let's just recap go over your whole band whole band is jimmy chamberlain with rob DeLeo making up the rhythm section <laughs> On the guitars, we got, yeah, Stone Gossert and John Frusciante bringing in the, the rhythm and lead. Yeah. And then, of course, Chris Cornell staying us both away, so. All right, so I've got Jeremy Taggart from Our Lady Peace on drums. I've got Patrick Dahlheimer from Live on bass. I've got Jerry Cantrell on rhythm guitar and so much more and vocals, too. <laughs> uh, oh, remember what I said about him harmonizing that, with Cornell? That could be the, yeah. That might be the kicker He there. thought about something there. I didn't yeah. think about that. Uh, lead guitar, Johnny Greenwood, of course, from Radiohead, and Chris Cornell, yep. singing singing his ass off for both of our bands. Yep. So uh, weigh in, let us know, build your band, uh, choose one of ours if you if you decide to do that. That'd be have a little vote here, have some fun with it. Yeah. So uh, as always, for Brad, I'm Keith. This is the KMB Music Den. Please like the video, share it on social media, smash the bell for notifications. You'll be notified every time we we drop new content, and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, that's about the most that. important one. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, we love the 90s. Um, if you do too, build your own band and uh, let's all discuss it and have some fun with this. Um, thanks as always for watching and we'll see you real soon.